This is the Wizard News. Migrant families could start moving into Wilbert Wright College, 4300 North Narragansett Avenue, as early as May 27th, 2023. Wright will be used to house families with children under age 18, and plans call for the asylum seekers to depart Wright by August 1st. Those living at Wright will be allowed to leave the campus, but will have to abide by an 11 p.m. curfew. 450 people attended a May 23 community meeting on the city's plan to use Wright as a temporary shelter. City Colleges of Chicago Chancellor Juan Salgado said that previously. Truman College was used as a shelter, and it went well. Salgado said, "We raised our hand to help the city of Chicago." His response was greeted by a large mix of boos and applause. Thirty-eighth Ward Alderman Nicholas Sposato said before the meeting that the 16th Jefferson Park Police District Station, 5151 North Milwaukee Avenue, will not be used as a temporary living center for migrants once Wright becomes a shelter. About 800 asylum seekers are living on a temporary basis in police district lobbies in the city, awaiting placement in a shelter. Sposato said that he first heard of the right plan through an anonymous call to his office on May 11th, and got confirmation of the plan on May 16th. He said that on May 18th, city officials agreed to the community meeting. Laundry services, cots, towels, showers, and food will be provided. Health screenings will be available at a nearby health clinic. Up to 400 people will be housed at Wright under the plan. City Colleges is requiring that the shelter be closed by August 1st, and an Office of Emergency Management and Communications representative said that the city has kept its word on closing deadlines for other temporary shelter locations. There have been minimal incidents at the shelters, Chicago Police Deputy Superintendent Stephen Chung said. The right plan will help bring relief to police stations, where some lobbies are filled with people living on a temporary basis. Many officers have bought food and supplies for the migrants. One resident received a round of applause when she asked how the community can help those who will be living at Wright. Residents should work with their elected officials or check the city's website. On a couple occasions, Sposato warned the crowd to be civil and polite. One meeting panelist said that the migrants. Are fingerprinted as part of a background check when they arrive. Using a public facility such as Wright costs significantly less than renting a hotel. The plan includes using a private security contractor. A panelist said that the shelters have a good neighbor policy and that issues of trespassing on private property will be addressed. But that it has not been a problem at other temporary shelters. Source: Native Newspapers, May twenty fourth, twenty twenty three.